Hi, my name is Anthony. I'm a year one BABM student. We are going to do a presentation on Dominic Pizza. Let me introduce you to my group members. Hello everyone, my name is Munir. Hi, my name is Felix. Hi, my name is Hanya. Hi, my name is Peter. Okay, let's take a look at a short video clip about Dominic's Pizza. Ever wonder how it all started? Who was the founder? Tom Mekian is the one behind Dominic's Pizza. This is a short history about Dominic's Pizza. They opened their first international store in Winnipeg, Canada in 1983. And the company reaches a record sales high of $2.8 billion system-wide in 1996. Here we're going to talk about two things here. Number one, the definition of restart, the definition of restart 2010 about employee, and number two, what is good about being an employee. Now, what Rista is trying to say here is that there should be a form of contract between the two parties, which is employer and employee. It means there's management and there is the employee, employees. So let's talk about the platform of being an employee. We have five points here. Number one is that for you to get a profit promotion is much easier as long as you're doing a hard work. Getting a fixed paycheck, that amount is the same every month, which means there is stability in your income. Number three is that you don't need to have to go, you don't need to have to work every other day you are actually paid, and it's your opportunity. And number four, taxes are easier because you have certain amount being deducted by your employer on your paycheck every other day. And number five is less risk. Here we're gonna talk about, let's talk about what is bad about being employee. Number one, you are, in, you are not in charge of your own life. Number two is that you are always under someone. You're working for someone, you work for money. You have to be in your particular job from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you are also, there are forms of, form of regulation and contacts and regulatory framework, and you become a comfort zone. Let's take a look at self employed Self-employed means that you are a sole proprietor, you work for yourself. Ali here mentioned that if you are self-employed, you are in charge of your own boss. Now, what is good about being self-employed? Number one, you have your own freedom. Number two, the profits are there. Number three, there are, more, there are, much, there are no less investments. And number four, there is no need for you to worry about your mental or physical health because if you are not free, you don't need to go to work. And the last one is that you can be more flexible and can do cross in terms of any project or employment. Here, let's talk about what is bad about being self-employed. Number one, you cannot you cannot do many jobs or, or, or contracts at the same time. Number two, you are actually isolated from your friends. So basically, you don't have a social life because you work too hard. Number three, free will benefits. You don't get medical benefit, for example. You need to take your own insurance. And number four, you can go out of business at any time, less security, and you don't need to pay taxes to the government. So, these are the bad things 
about being self-employed. I will let my friend here hang sing, sing hand to continue with this life. Thank you. Hello everyone and I will talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages of being a small sole trader and large limited company. The advantages of being a small sole trader is it is attractive as they can tip off at any time they want rather than working in an office for a fixed time. And the second as they are the business owner, there will be no one to interfere them. As the business owner is from local, he will know that what's the citizens or time favorite and he can introduce similar foods to them to attract them. They can retain profits from business as there are no other shareholders. They can make decisions fast as they run the business individually right and they can satisfy customer needs in time. And the disadvantages are large limited company generally succeed better as they have more experience and business owner is lack of experience. As business owner just started their business, there will be many motivators such as supporting staff, inventing new recipes, paying bills and more. They have to promote their restaurant as they are not as famous as other famous restaurants. When the customers are bored with the food, they might leave and go to other restaurants. Business owner also subjected to unlimited liabilities and they might also risk their own savings. And the large limited company advantages are as the headquarters will handle most of the problem, franchising will be easier to run the business on their own. Owner can add their own creation into the business to build a secure and profitable business. Loyal customers will recognize the brand and the franchisee will have a group of loyal customers. Company will provide training for franchisee to run the business smoothly. The company will help franchisee by giving them everything required to open the business. The franchise is ready to go. The large limited company disadvantages are the company retains an, an amount of franchises and it is said that it's not guaranteed that they will get a franchise on the, of the business. Outlets are useful for developing new service ideas that might also bring back results to the franchisee. Although franchisee can run the business individually, they have still have to obey the instructions from the supermarket. It is expected that the, it requires heavy fees by to franchise the restaurant. Franchisee has to follow the instructions from supervisor so that he won't breach the agreements in the franchise contract and might lead to termination of an owner's franchise. And I will pass it to Monia. Thank you. All right. Now let's take a look at what are the advantages of having a small firm. First is the first important response time to your customer and client's needs and wants. Number two is the ability to handle the, the questions of the client. And number three, you will be able to make your services and provide more personal with your clients. Number four is your, co your cost will be lower and limited. Number five, you will be able to have a quick reaction to the changing in the market. Now, let's take a look on what might motivate entrepreneurs to join a franchise. First thing is the track record of success. As we all know, those big companies, they are already successful companies. So, it doesn't take, it doesn't, it, it doesn't have uh, anything to do just to, uh, just you have to follow their steps in order to be successful as well. Number two is strong back, strong brand. All people, they, they know who is Domino's Pizza and McDonald's and KFC. Number three, you will have a training program for you and your staff and in which you will learn how the business functions and works. Number four is, you will have also an ongoing operational support. They will, as long as you belong to that franchise, you will have a full support from their management. Number four, you will also have some assistance in marketing strategies and marketing functions in order to make you sell a maximum of your products. Now I will let my friend Peter to continue with the next part. Now, let's take a look at franchise and how to overcome the problems. Because um, it's a uh, franchise always acts in the interest of our franchisee. The answer to this question is either yes or no. 
in my own view, the answer is no one because a franchise, a franchisee lacks a lot of franchise as a quality, um, not enough effort and uh, practice. A franchise is an independent business person, uh, a great deal of control over their business. And then it is the franchisee's responsibility to give a franchisee all the tools available to succeed. And um, fourthly, um, a franchisee must always act in the best interest of the franchisee in order for, even if this means failure to the franchisee. How to overcome the problem? Uh, firstly, you have to define the problem and decide to engage. Secondly, you have to generate um, the will for the joint solution. And then, thirdly, acting together to implement agreement. Uh, fourthly, market issue and relationship. Fifthly, scenario building and negotiation. These are some ways we can overcome the problem. I'll hand over to my friend, Alice. Thank you. So, we can continue to what type of business would you prefer? Is it a franchise or open your own small firm? As, uh, before we jump into it, uh, we can see first what is business, what is franchise, and what is company. What is business? Can you read it? It's by Weber, 2017. Franchise by Pahua, also 2017. And the third one, company, it's by Palo, 2014. Uh, we choose a franchise because first is an established business is because when you do the business it's the idea the brand and all the stuff is already tried and tested in the market so it will gain your purchasing power your customer already know your brand and it's made them trust your brand and buy more uh, the third one is the training program. They provide you the training program to to tell you what does what are the best methods to run the business. The fourth one is the cons construction assistance. They will provide you the layout, the design of your room, and you just go and run your business. And the last one is ongoing operational support. Uh, when you do the franchise, you're not alone uh, because when you have struggle or you have problem in your business, you always can call somebody, the professional, by 24 per 7. And why we don't choose to open our own small firm or company is because one thing, it's so high risk and as you can see, it's take a lot of work. It will, you will make a mistake and it costs you many worries that it can lead you to the stress. Um, thank you for your attention and have a good day.